Hello, and today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I want to share a video with you about designing your SSI file uh, for a tooth here. So here's our patient. Uh, she comes in and she's missing tooth number 30 and, and 31, and she'd like to get uh, a replacement for that tooth. So what I'd like to do is just um, hide the restoration here. And then let's take a peek at her upper jaw. Here we can see, you know, she has a tooth that hasn't drifted down too much yet. So she'd like to go ahead, and we have the restorative space available. So she'd like to go ahead and look at having a tooth made for that bottom right hand side. So we went ahead, and um, my assistant went ahead and designed a uh, replacement tooth there and quite honestly in looking at this this is actually pretty well done what we can see is you know if I look at the general uh, things I look at is we can see that our gingival margin is drawn kind of in the right spot you know whether or not this tooth is wide enough is you know one question I would have uh, but certainly the gingival margin is drawn in the right spot and uh, the same for the lingual so care and attention has been given there uh, but one area, and this looks like it's ready to go, so it's quite easy to go ahead and export this out. But one area that I like to look at, and one of the common uh, challenges that I see is uh, oftentimes dentists aren't taking an oppose and like, oh, no big deal, I just want to design a tooth. And, you know, in looking at this, now when I suddenly put the opposing on there, I can see from this view that our tooth is quite a bit not buckle enough. Okay, now the central groove is in the right spot, but our buckle width right here is not correct. So really this tooth should probably be about that wide and then maybe a hair bit taller, you know, to get the occlusion correct. So I wanted just to make a quick video to point this out that it's not just with one aspect that we're looking at this, but we're also looking at the width of the tooth in the sense of um, you know, how it fits into the upper teeth. So here we can see that we definitely need to have that done. And then the other thing I would like to point out is one option that I did there was I used anatomical shape tool to do this. And that's not bad, but really, so let me, um, <clears throat> the negative in that is my central groove stays in the same spot and just the buckle cusp comes out and the central groove in my opinion is no longer in the right spot so in my opinion when you have a tooth size discrepancy the better way to do this is to use your scale tool and make the tooth the proper size and then use your position and rotate tool to go ahead and move the tooth into the right spot There's something like that and now we can see that we're, our central grooves are a little bit more aligned and then I would probably do something along that line right there just to rotate it down into place and get those buckle cups back into a little bit of occlusion there so that would be my preference here instead of just using the anatomical tool because when I do that my central groove stayed and when I did that my central groove stayed right there whereas really this central groove should line up like so and now you can see by using the scale and then the position and rotate tool we got our central groove in the right spot so now from here we're ready to go ahead and export this out as an SSI uh, once we're completely you know uh, happy with the design uh, and I like to have everything good uh, the one thing that is missing here that I would like to see is articulation uh, I would like to see how this buckle cusp uh, affects our articulation movements. Uh, I'm just a little bit uh, particular about having our design in the right spot. So uh, last comment is um, having the correct width of the tooth uh, buckle lingually um, is important so that way we know we need to put the implant centered right here versus back here. So if our tooth width is incorrect buckle lingually uh, that is no good. And then the last question in this particular case is, does this tooth need to be wider, mesier distally? And the answer is uh, quite honestly probably yes. So the same thing here, we can use this uh, sh scale tool and we can just, there we go. So just like so, now I can have 
the width of the tooth more accurate there. So um, just there you go. So hopefully this has been helpful for you and thank you very much.